Hello, this is Bestie News and we are going to learn a story is called Ugly Duckling. Let's do it. Once upon a time, there was a proud, a happy duck. I have seven beautiful eggs and soon I will have seven beautiful ducklings, she told the other creatures on the river bank. It wasn't long before she heard a crack and one beautiful duckling pepped her little head out of the shell. Isn't it the beautiful? She exclaimed. Soon there was another and then another until she had six beautiful little ducklings dying, drying their fluffy yellow wings in the spring air. Just one egg left, quacked the mother duck. And it's big one for quite a while. Nothing happened. Mother was strengthened to started to worry when at last the big eggs began to hatch. Tap, tap, tap. Out came a beak. Crack, crack, crack. Out popped a hat. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Out came the last duckling. The last duckling did look strange. He was bigger than the other ducklings and didn't have such lovely yellow feathers. That's all right, said mother. You are a special little duckling. Now come into water, she told her little duckling. Now come into the water. You must learn to swim right away. One by one, the ducklings hopped into the water, landing with a pot. But the ugly duckling fell over his big feet and landed in the water. The ugly duckling fell over his big feet and landed in water with a big splash. The other duckling laughed at their clumsy brother. Now, my little chick, said Mother Duck, stick together and stay behind me. Back at the near, the ducklings practiced their quacking. Repeat after me, said the mother. Quack, 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 three. Quack, 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 three. Quack, repeated ducklings. All expect the duckling one. Hook, hook, he called. However, much he cried he couldn't quack like his brothers and sisters. What a racket, said mother. I'm sure she will get the hang of it soon. The other ducklings all quacked with laughter. The ugly duckling hung his head in shame. Nobody likes me, he thought. I will never fit in. The next day, the mother duck took her little once for an other swim. Once again, the little duckling stayed close to her while the ugly duckling wandered alone. She, wild geese came down and landed on the river nearby. What kind of bird are you? asked one goose rather rudely. I am duckling, of course, he replied. My family have left me all alone. The rest of the geese felt sorry for ugly duckling. It's a big wide world and there's so much to do. But the ugly duckling wandered and tried to leave. But he stayed where he was. He stayed where he was. When their mother wasn't looking at the other ducklings, just took at his dull gray feathers, said his sister unkindly. As she admired her own reflection 
in the water. Mine are so much prettier. The ugly duckling swam away and I and looked at his reflection. I don't look like the same as them, he thought, feeling sad and lonely. Feeling sad and lonely, he swam down the river and could, didn't stop until he had reached a place he had never seen before. I may as well stay here by myself, he decided. Summer turned to autumn. The sky became cloudy and the river murky. But still the ugly duckling swam alone in his quiet place of the river. Snow fell heavily. The winter and the ugly duckling was cold and lonely. The river was frozen solid. At least I can't see my ugly reflection anymore, he thought to himself. Spring arrived at last and the ice thought. Now visitors arrived on the river. The ugly duckling watched nervously as some mag magnificent white duck swam towards him. You are very big ducks, he told them. When they swam close, we are not ducks, laughed the elegant creatures. We are swans like you. The ugly duckling didn't know what they meant. He looked at his reflection in the river and was surprised to see beautiful white feathers and an elegant long neck. Elegant long neck. Is that really me? He asked, surprised. Of course it is, they told him. You are truly handsome, Swan. The handsome young Swan joined his friends and glided carefully back up the river with the up the river with them when they swam past a family of ducks mother duck recognized his lovely duckling right away i always knew he was special she said and the beautiful young swan swam down the river proudly ruffling from his magnificent white feathers and holding the elegant elegant head high the end Hope you like this story, Rivers. Thank you so much for staying with me. This is Bestie News.